Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all. I just want to chat with y'all, and I want to talk hip-hop with y'all. This, this is this is a collab. This is a collab. In this video, this is, a, this is about two artists. This is about two lyricists. When it comes down to, like, battling, when it comes down to them getting into a battle, when it comes down to them doing diss tracks, both of these artists are pretty much like the king when it comes down to diss tracks, and both of these artists are pretty much like the king when it comes down to, like, battling in the hip-hop culture. Like, out of all the battles that both of these artists have been in, they never lost any of the battles. One of these artists battled a Drake, and you see before Drake had battled this artist, Drake never lost a battle. This artist actually ended Drake's undefeated streak with battling, and this artist and the other artist, on the other hand, is still undefeated when it comes down to battling. The last battle that he had was against Machine Gun Kelly. And he pretty much easily destroyed Machine Gun Kelly. But Machine Gun Kelly, I still give credit to Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly can spit. The two artists that I'm going to discuss with y'all is Eminem and Pusha T. Do we need an Eminem and Pusha T collab? My fellow Eminem fans, my fellow Pusha T fans, my fellow lyricists. Let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me. Engage with me. Drop me a comment in the comment section. But do we need an Eminem and Pusha T collab? I'm going to give you my answer like I do as always. Do I feel that we need an Eminem and Pusha T collab? Of course. We do. We definitely need, yeah, an Eminem and Pusha T collab. Both of these artists, when it comes down to battling, both of these lyricists are kings at what they do. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, really so far, I feel like a lyricist that can be Pusha T in a battle. Of course, Eminem. I mean, if you was to ask me, like, who would win in a battle between Pusha T versus Eminem, I would say Eminem. But... I feel like a classic battle for Pusha T would be against Jadakiss. Now, do I feel Pusha T can beat Jadakiss? I mean, I, f I feel if Jadakiss was to battle Pusha T, I feel that Jadakiss would edge the victory. But I do feel Pusha T would give Jadakiss a lot of trouble. And just and just like I was talking about earlier with Lupe Fiasco and Eminem, I don't I don't feel that Lupe Fiasco could destroy Eminem, but I do feel that like Lupe Fiasco is one of those lyricists that can edge the victory if he was to battle Eminem. But yeah, an Eminem and Pusha T collab would definitely be something that that hip hop has been patiently waiting for. Like like Eminem is definitely a huge influence for Pusha T. Like Pusha T, when it comes down to like battling with the way he he rebuttaled Drake's Duppy freestyle, like with the way Pusha T was 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 rapping over the um over the story of OJ instrumental, he called it the story of Adadon. With the way Pusha T was flowing on that beat, Pusha T killed that. Like, Pusha T is definitely a lyricist that, that no other lyricist should take a, should take lightly. I mean, when it comes down to Pusha T hopping on a song with, with an artist, it may make the other artists rewrite. Because I remember even Royce the 5 9 had stated in an interview that when it comes down to working with Pusha T... You know, I mean, I, I mean, Royce the Five Nine even stated that he gotta bring his A game. Like, like, there's probably been times where when Royce the Five Nine was doing a song with Pusha T, where Royce the Five Nine probably had to rewrite his verse because if he would have stick to the verse that he had, Pusha T probably would have bodied him on the song. But yeah, same thing with Eminem, like. 
you know, when it comes down to a lyricist working with Eminem, you got to bring your A game because even Lil Wayne stated in an, inter in an interview that he had to make sure that when it came down to working with Eminem, he had to make sure that Eminem didn't body him. Because both of the songs that Lil Wayne and Eminem did, Drop the World, No Love, and then also the song Forever, on all three of those songs, Eminem had a better verse than Lil Wayne. Eminem had a better verse than Lil Wayne on the song No Love. Eminem had a better verse than Lil Wayne on the song Drop the World. And Eminem pretty much, em, on the song Forever, I'm trying... I mean, Eminem pretty much had a better verse than everybody on the song Forever. But I mean, Drake, Drake's verse on the on the song Forever, Drake, his verse was 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 pretty was pretty dope. And little little Wayne, I mean, if 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 I was to rank the best verses on the song Forever by Drake, Kanye West, Little Wayne, and Eminem, I would say first first best verse. Is Eminem second best verse Lil Wayne third best verse Drake and the last best verse Kanye West no disrespect to Kanye West Kanye West had a dope verse but even Kanye I heard that Kanye West I heard something that 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 when Kanye West heard Eminem's verse Kanye West had rewrote his verse but yeah but yeah like. I do feel that an Eminem and Pusha T collab is something that a lot of people have probably thought about. And I'm pretty sure it's a collab that a lot of people have probably been patiently waiting for. Again, my fellow Eminem fans, my fellow Pusha T fans, my fellow Slim Shady fans, my fellow Marshall Mathers fans, my fellow Clips fans, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. Do we need an Eminem and Pusha T collab? Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, love y'all.